Hallelujah. Welcome again to this um, channel this afternoon. See, there is something I would just want to say briefly before you, you watch the movie. And um, I'm sorry, we, 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 like, you, you people don't subscribe to this channel. We discover that we have quite a lot of views on this channel, but less subscribers. You just watch those subscribers and we have begged, we have done all we could do. See, we are at your mercy. No matter how tongue speaking and, and spiritual we are, God will not come down to subscribe to us. You are the one that can do it. It's in your hand. You are, it is in your power to do. You can, God will not come down to do it. It's in your hand. It's in your power to do. And it doesn't cost. Just, just subscribe to the channel. We are at your mercy. God's work is at your mercy. This channel is at your mercy. Please, will you help us subscribe? Let us hear this word. We are begging humbly. It's like... No, I'm not crying. I'm like, I'm not crying. Like, I said I will not shed a single tear upon the sister. So, I won't shed a single tear upon the subscription button. I won't shed a single tear. But please, just... Bro, Femi, bro, John, Fajus Baba, is, is he crying? No, but it's like, please, just go subscribe. Please, subscribe. Please, press the button. I have subscribed. 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 I am subscribing now. Oh, wow. good. Thank you very much. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. I should subscribe. You have subscribed to victory testimony in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Enjoy your viewing. That the vessels of men be open, that their eyes be open, Nakida Basata Dabash. That men will see, that men will see, that men will see another revelation of you, Lord. That the ears shall be open, that the mind shall be open, Nakida Basata Nedibuna Nalabasha. That the mind of men is open to receive the word of truth. That power, the power shall emit, Lord, the power shall emit from this movie now. Nabida Bula Dabashata Dini Munakana. That men will see your outstretched harm. That they shall see your promise again. That they shall see you again. That men will see you from the beginning to the end. You are not just the Alpha and the Omega, but at the same time, you are the beginning, you are the ending too. That throughout this prophetic moment, let the prophets speak that they that my day they about shut that the climatic environment and atmosphere of your people obeys you, Lord. Until men shall see and are committed to hear what you have to say. That men are doing everything in obedience to the Christ. That men shall see that the eyes of men are open, that the men shall hear la bruda da bashata. This is the Beulah and the Epsiba anointing. The grace to be a delight to all nations so that the kingship dimension of your office can stand. I pour that grace upon your life. Take that grace. I receive. I receive. I receive. 
I see. Me have a house of father dead. Raha only knows the hand of us. That's me. That's who carry on the hand of us. I can't. I This morning, is it Riyad Bonki or Morisello? And what did they give to you? Is it sand or oil? Bella and Epsiba Grace. Oh, did they lay hands on you and pronounce you prophet to all nations? The kingship dimension of my office. Oh, kingship. You saw yourself in the palace. Or better still, ministering to a large congregation of people and prophesying. Deborah, why are you asking this question? You haven't answered my question. But how shall this thing be? One question that you have refused to ask them in your dream. The question that many never forget to ask the angels. I know I am a prophet. I know there is every mandate and the call of God upon my life. Oh, I really don't look like it at all. Dear, I know in your dream you are all this, but not here. This is reality. Many a times, men of God have laid hands on your head. Many meetings that you have been called through word of knowledge, where heavy graces and anointing rest upon you. Yet, nothing to show for it. No result, no show. I am to find that brother. I have once attended one of his programs called Encounter Clinic. I need to find him. Keep looking for him. I will not stop praying for you. That is the assignment I am called to do. Good morning, Mr. Pupala. Good morning. Sir, there is a visitor at the reception, sir. Oh, okay. What's the name? I've not expected anybody. He says Mr. Teofilos. Mr. Teofilos. Yes, sir. I'll let him know. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning, my brother. Yes, sir. Sir, I need help. I don't know what is happening to me. Okay, just, just calm down and put yourself together, okay? Uh, sit down, sit down. Let me be like this. I saw you in my dreams. Let me remain like this, sir. Be anxious for nothing. Nothing at all should give you depression and anxiety. When you have depression and you're anxious, it will sap up your feet. Sit. Confused, sir. My second name is Confusion. I don't know if I'm meant to leave or if I'm meant at all. My life, my life, I don't get it at all. That's too harsh. Don't be hard on yourself. Sincerely, I've been noticing you in the department. But today, I observe that you are sad and that is why I decided to talk to you. I'm a child of God and a genuine one at that. The first thought of my family and I'm the only one in school. My friends, they are separated and my mom, she's only trying her best. I have to work hard so I can support her with the school fees and some other expenses. Um, I'm really sorry about that. What work do you do? This. Oh, I see. I saw you selling this in class. But how much do you want to make from this? 
<laughs> At least I'm doing something. <laughs> but I, I just need someone to tell me where I am and what lies ahead of me. See, you just have to believe in the promises of God in the scriptures. You just have to believe it. I know them. But for how long will I continue like this? I have to repeat the session because I could not afford the tuition. I just need direction. Like, how will everything that has been said about me come to pass? Just put your mind at rest. I promise you, everything is going to be fine. You don't have, you don't have to try. Just put your mind at rest. Every blessing, every promise is going to come true. Sorry. Stop crying. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also will reject you from being priests to me. An aspect that got me in that verse is that he said, My people, God's own people, people who are steward, people who are born again, he said they will still perish. If they lack understanding. Understanding and knowledge of what, sir? Understanding of the mysteries and the knowledge of God mm. as it relates to prophecy and ordination. By the grace of God alone, I am doing all that is expected of me. When will the prophecy of my life begin to manifest? When will my ordination speak? I'm happy to tell you that you are in the University of Tears. But there is a department in this university where kings are made, where prophecy gets matured, where ordination comes alive. If you don't visit that department, you will never look like the promise. And if you force yourself to look like the promise, you are going to fade out at midday. <sighs> This is so hard, sir. I follow up my teachings in the keys to surviving the University of Tien. But what is this department I need to visit? I will tell you that tomorrow. Okay. Because I'm currently preparing to minister to the youth this evening in our church. I will tell you the name of this department and I will give you four different secrets you need to know about this department. Nobody you see today living or dead, walking in ordination, jumped this department. Because if you do, life will cheat you. You will be a king and a prophet in the realm of the spirit. But here, you will never look like it. I can't wait, sir. I'm fully ready to learn. Miss Kasharity, yeah. I know you have troubles, but troubles don't have you. I know you have lacks insufficiency but don't let them have you have heard you by elijah thanks for your concern and sure. thank you for the counseling okay. i just hope that everything that you said about me will come to pass uh, like what yeah. they said i'll be the one to bring my family out of penury and poverty oh. into abundance yeah. that i am the savior of my family yeah. and now my siblings are looking up to me to get to school then believe it, it will surely come to pass. Like this? How? See, I will talk to my uncle and he will be willing to help you. Just be hopeful and believe in faith. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank God. Mom, where is dad? Oh, darling, you care so much about daddy. Is he not eating his food? Don't worry, daddy will eat his food whenever he's ready, okay? Good boy. Food. I will eat very soon. Thank you, my boy. Okay, darling, go to your room and watch cartoon over there, all right? Good boy. Oni, what is the problem? You do not look happy. Ever since you returned from that pastor you went to see, your mood has changed. 
It is not that I'm not happy. But I really can't wait. Can't really wait for what? That man teared up something in me I would like to know. I believe he knows something that will be your help. So why didn't he tell you then? He was busy, so he requested I come back. I believe he's anointed of God. Okay, now that he asked you to come back and you know, please darling, come and eat your food, okay? Okay. Please. <laughs> should be able to encourage her yourself. I've tried my best though. I've really tried my best. In fact, I had so much compassion for her. Hmm. Beyond any counsel or, you know, revelation, you must understand that there are some situations we cannot pray out of our lives. We can only pray for the grace to walk through them. I told her everything. Like I told her everything. But at least I know that your own encouragement will go a long way. So maybe you can discuss with my wife. I believe she'll be back tomorrow and then this time around she'll be spending up to a week. Oh, mm. I think that is much better then. Thank you, Uncle. Yes, come in. Oh, how are you, Mr. Pukwala? Good morning. Hope you are doing well, sir. Yeah, I'm fine, by the grace of God. Yes, sir. I'm so glad to see you, sir. Oh, let him in. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, God bless you, Mr. Fearfulness. You are very much welcome. Have a seat. God bless you. Thanks for yesterday, sir. It really got me thinking. I had to pray for understanding and readiness to receive from you, sir. There is absolutely nothing to receive from mortal men like us. We are nothing of ourselves except that the grace of God is upon our lives. We just thank God for the grace and the spirit of revelation. The department where kings are made, where prophecies are matured, and where ordinations are being activated, I want to receive. Hmm. My brother, that you are anointed does not mean you are appointed. The day you are anointed doesn't ascertain your appointment in the office of your ordination. Between your anointing, impartation, prophecy and manifestation is a dark hole called the king of Adullam. Kings are not made on the throne or in the cave. It's a place where prophecy grows into maturity. It's a place where you know that indeed you are a king even though you don't have a kingdom yet. We are going somewhere. You see the entrance of the word of God brings light. So let's enter the mystery world. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Can we just pray in the spirit before we enter this mystery? Okay, did another have a soup it up, he didn't make a seat at a bash. The brother, the boon, not an indicated the bush, you kid the bat. Na pretty bus sakata de busha. We enter the holies of holies. Nakina na basha ta de bruda bash. We enter the holies of holies. Nakada bushi di di bana da bash. Lika kati di bu na da da buika da bush. Nakada bash. Nati di busha. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. You see my brother, when God reveals your future to you, either by impartation. Of prophecy and there is no manifestation yet. Adulam is calling you. When you begin to lose your faith and fear is setting in, rush to Adulam. Sir, do you mean the cave of Adulam? Where David ran to hide when Saul was running after his life? Exactly. Adulam is a system, it's a mystery that God programs into the life 
of his children intentionally. He didn't let you get the kingdom, the testimonies, the promises the way you thought you wanted. Because if he allows you, if he permits you to get the kingdom, if he permits you to get the promises the way you think you want it, it means that you are going to begin to praise the kingdom. You will praise the promises. You will praise the manifestation while you ignore the God of the kingdom and the God of the manifestations. So God now places you in Hadulam so you'll be able to discover and praise the God of the kingdom. Because in everything, in the beginning of your pursuit, God, in the beginning of your ministry, God, in the beginning of prophecy, God. So for you to know that beginning, who is God? He placed you in Hadulam. Ah, is this why I feel abandoned? I feel alone. I feel empty. My life seems so dark and dreary. The cave is always dark and lonely. It's like a hiding from the face of men, from the face of prophets, from the face of enemies. Man of God, go and hide yourself in the cave of Adullam. It is a place where everything God has said about you will come to pass. It's a place where God does not deal with adversity, but deals with you. Oh, sir, I am holy. I am humble. I am disciplined. I'm dead to fleshly desire. Man of God, don't trust yourself. It is in Adulam that God exposes your vulnerabilities to you so that you don't fail on the stage. If you decide to do this by yourself or forcing yourself on the stage, then like David, you will lie to Ahimelech, which will cost the life of 85 innocent priests. So if you decide to do it by yourself or you force yourself on the stage of life, then you'll be like David, lying to Ahimelech, who should open the door to kill 85 innocent priests. Hey! So like David was walking about, even when he was anointed as a king, even after he has killed Goliath, I could not sit on the throne until he fled to Adulam. This is the time and seasons many people have. They have the anointing of God upon their lives. The prophecies are upon their head. But yet, nothing yet is speaking. Because they need to go to Adulam to activate the oil. Because indeed, they were called by God, yes. But they need to go to Adulam to activate the oil. I have been in ministry for many years, but the members go to Hadulam. I am, I am a man of God, I am a man of God, I am anointed, but nobody is making a demand of my grace, my brother. Your grace has not yet been switched on. Go to Hadulam. The Lord called me to be a kingdom financier, but there is no money in here. I don't look like it, my brother. Lack is the way to becoming a kingdom financier. Go to Adulam. It is the place everything said about you will come to pass. Is this why nobody is inviting me for ministration? Even when I have gone around to tell them I'm anointed and they should invite me, my team members are not committed. They envy me, even in my nothingness. No finances, no nothing, confusion every year. That's because Adulam is calling you. The cave is calling you. All these experiences are programmed by the spirit so that you will know that the cave is calling you. The place of silence is calling you. The more you linger to go there, the more you are confused. How come I don't know all of this? In my many years of prayers, and meetings with God. I have read about the cave of Adula, but not with this understanding, sir. Sir, you need to impart me with the grace of revelation. Was it not Joseph that God revealed a beautiful future to? Very wonderful future the Lord chose Joseph. Joseph continually carried this prophecy upon his head, only for him to meet himself in the cave. Genesis 37 verse 24 speaks about how they took Joseph. His own brothers took him and threw him into a very deep pit. There was water in it. Whether it's a pit or a cave, Joseph was there all alone in a dark and dirty environment. What kind of affliction is that? It's not their fault. 
becomes the carry prophecy. Anyone who carries prophecy upon his head and want to manifest in the life of that prophecy, you cannot jump the school of the pit. You cannot jump the cave, the lonely dark experience when you go there and activate what you carry with God of heaven. Jesus, what are you telling me? What is this? Man of God, could it be that you are in this affliction because you carry prophecy? Oh Joseph, oh Esther, oh Daniel, could it be that the glory of God is upon your life and that is why you are in Adulam? Don't be broken. Adulam is a place of waiting. The prophetic attracts enemies. Everybody hates you. Everybody sees you as a threat even though you have nothing. It's not them. Is the grace of God upon your life? Run to Adulam. It's not there. Is the anointing of God upon your head? Run to Adulam. It's not there. Is the prophecy upon your life that you have grown up with so many years? You've grown with that prophecy, but manifestation has not come. You are still roaming about like deadly with the king anointing. Run to Adulam. It's a very important department in the University of Thiers. Ah, man of God. Where is Adulam? What do I do there? Do I just pray there or what? No, not just prayer, my brother. There are things you do in Adulam. There are phases of training in the cave. There are courses to study in the pit. Your Adulam may not be made of limestone and located in a barren desert. Your own Adulam can be anxiety. Your own Adulam can be lack. Your own Adulam can be, can be depression. Could be trial, difficulties, illness, Divorce, trauma, or loss. It's a place where you find out who you are without them. It's a place where you ignore them and you stay alone with your God. Because all the while you have been roaming about with them, them has not profited you. It's time to leave them and go to God in the cave of Adullam. Sir, what thing do I do? Where do I start? End of class for today. Next time we talk about what we do in Adulam, how we survive in Adulam, and signs that shows that we are in Adulam. You see, you are a king and a queen maker. In fact, you will be the one to bring your family out of these difficulties. Like this? <sighs> I know you have prayed. You have done all you could. You believed and trusted God on his promises, but nothing is forthcoming. Ma, honestly, I'm broken at it. My family are looking up to me. Because they know about this prophecy, but it's just as if I'm a disappointment. <laughs> you see, the book of um, Psalm 34 verse 18 says, The Lord is close to the broken, and he saves the spirit of those that are crushed. I know, Ma. I just want to know when will it be? There are many people going through so much, but when will it be that this situation will change? Charity, very soon. How soon? My dear, you see, when I tell you very soon, I mean very, very soon. Good evening. Oh, welcome, dear. How are you, boy? How's everything? Take it inside. God welcome. bless you. Yeah. Good, Good evening, my sister. Welcome. God bless you. So you see, Charity, I, I cannot tell precisely when these things will manifest. Neither can I tell when all these challenges will be out of your life. But one thing that is certain is God is on the throne and he will come true for you. Well done, my sister. Thank Can you, you just uh, give me your account number? Okay. Nine zero. Yeah, hold on. We have to send. Okay, you can call it now. Nine zero. Nine zero. Four two. Four two. Five seven. Nine nine. Zero six. World Bank. Orange Bank, sir. Mm. Just sent you 100,000 naira. Ah! 100,000 naira! Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Oh, my dear love, I've never counted this amount of money before. I 
thank you dear you see um <clears throat> you have not counted so before because god is using this time to train you so that when the money comes you will know how to manage it well you see sister if you are waiting for somebody to tell you when things will change if you are waiting for a preacher to tell you when things will fall back on track then you are joking <laughs> all we can just do is to hope from god hmm. so hope so our faith through we cannot fasten the hand of God. But all I know and I'm certain about is sooner or later, God is surely going to come true. The Bible says in Isaiah 43 2, it says, When thou passest through the fire, I will be with you. It said, The river will not overshadow overflow you. Now the issue is this the Lord did not say when thou runnest. He said when you pass through it, when you walk through it. You know, if you look at that verse, if you are in a difficult situation, it's common sense to run and be free very fast. <laughs> but it's, you, are, you are going to walk through it slowly. You are going to pass through it slowly. He only says he will be with us. He didn't say we will not walk through fire. When thou passest through the fire, I will be with you, and through the river they shall not overflow you. He said, "Our, our." I said, "He said the flames will not even kindle upon us; it will not be burnt." That's the point. Mm. That means we have to walk gently through the fire and not fasten the movement by running, walking through it. Hmm. You see, my sister, the three Ibu children had prophecy upon their head. But when it comes to passing through tribulations, it does not reflect prophecy. They were thrown into the fire with their prophecy upon the head. But the good news is that both them and the prophecy were preserved. The same thing with Daniel, who was thrown into the den of lions. It is anointing. Do you know what it is for a human being to face lion? <laughs> it's not easy. But we are overcomers, saith the Lord. Mm. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ma. Mm. My faith is lifted. Mm. I now trust in the promises of God while I walk through whatever it is I'm to walk in. Mm. You see, um, why we look not at the things that we see? Because the things that we see are just temporal. They are not permanent. Mm? Thank you, sir, for being a blessing. Thank you very much. Eliza! Eliza. Yeah, your friend is about leaving. Come say her help. Okay. Alright. Alright, do take care, okay? Yeah, how are you? Some of these people passing through tribulations just need the hands of love, not, uh, not just encouragement. Most of them know these encouraging words. All this it is well, everything is encouraging. Somebody has his mother in the theater. Mm -hmm. gasping for life and you will come and pray for that person you can bless the person you cannot you didn't bless them you say god will heal like it doesn't have to be so whatever god has given us to be a blessing to people should first of all go ahead before we not give them the encouraging words you see at times we must understand that food in itself is a preacher it can preach god well love it can preach god well when you show love to your fellow human being, that in itself is a preacher. May God help us all. Amen. All right, dear. Professional, the dining is ready for food. All right. Please subscribe. Uh, dear, what happened? You're not sleeping yet. I have never seen that kind of man before. His levels of words and revelations opens one's off automatically. Once he just opens his mouth, that's all. So, what did he call that department where kings are made? The cave of Adulam. You mean the same cave where David went to hide? Yes. Between impartation and manifestation is the cave experience. It has been calling me without knowing. So, what are we meant to do there? 
It is not a weird thing. It is just God and man alone. What is the next thing? That's tomorrow's teaching. Hmm. I will know tomorrow. But it will be in his house, not in his office. Um, dear, can I join you so that I can have a witness of this? Oh, Elijah. I have really missed Uncle William so much. Oh. You know, lectures and projects have taken hold of my time. Those lectures and projects didn't stop you when you needed to visit the school of the spirits, right? Bro, Elijah. Yeah. Hmm. I needed it those times. Mm. That even lectures and projects could not hinder me. Eh, those lectures and projects didn't hinder you. This is a common trait amidst Christians. When we need God, we go out of our ways to find Him, to search Him, to, to look for His face. And when He pours Himself into us and we become refreshed, boom, we forget the relationship and we become distracted again until another time we need Him. Ah, bro Elijah, you are right. You know, I learned from his analogy like a lot. Mm. And I must be sincere with you, I will definitely find time to check on Bro Williams. Ah, Bro Elijah! Oh, Sister Sharizy, good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning, Sister Charity. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for yesterday. In fact, I felt love like I've never experienced in a while. You're so lucky to be planted in that atmosphere. You're so lucky. Wait, 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 wait. Bro, Elijah, she met Uncle Williams already. Already? Yes, wow. sir. Elijah took me home. Aww. But now I have a renewed hope to believe the promises and prophecy of God upon my life. You see? When there are not expectations, mm. there cannot be disappointment. Mm. Instead of expecting something from God, just keep serving Him. Keep serving Him. Wait, um, Bro Elijah, are you saying we should not expect anything from God? Uh, like, is it bad or carnality to expect things from Him? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. Mm. Of course, He's our Father. He's our sustainer. He's our provider. He's everything. So we just have to remove the transactional motive of expecting him to do things for us just because we are serving him. We serve God because we love him. We serve God because it is a commandment. So if God chooses to bless us, if God chooses to give us big truth, if God chooses to do anything for us, we serve him. And if God does not do anything for us, we still serve him. Job said, though he slay me, I will still serve him. This is deep. Very deep. Profound. Thank you very much, sir. I'm so sorry. I have to run to under level class now. They have a test so I can make some sales. Is that pen? Yes, yes. Ah, please, I, I, I need okay, one. Okay, thank much you is so much. It's just an error. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Ah, <laughs> please, thank you. Wow. Uh, but I'm not oh, sure I actually God. have changed. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, no problem. No problem. We can ah, really? we'll catch up later now. Don't okay, worry. thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you later. <laughs> but wow. God, wait. She's a hardworking woman. Indeed. Our afflictions and challenges is making her strong. Hmm. And I must say, she would be a very industrious wife to the <laughs> lucky man in the future. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to suspect you now. <laughs> uh, on Onto waiting now. Don't worry. Small pen that I bought. No, small don't worry, pen. Don't worry. Ah ah. Ah ah. Okay. Good morning. 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 And to meet with you too. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, we sir. bless God. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Sir. <laughs> we want to talk about what we do in Hadulam, how we survive there, and the signs that we would know that we are in Hadulam. Like the things I need to know. Now, some things about my life are becoming more clearer. Yes, sir. The first thing you do in Hadulam is to ask for mercy. 
and by privilege of God's grace, there are only two Psalms in the Bible that explains what happened in Hadulam. And that's Psalm 57 and Psalm 142. Yeah. So when you get to Hadulam, the first thing you ask for is mercy. Even as children of God and men of God, we don't ask for mercy because we have sinned. Hmm. Mercy is not just a bailout system for sinners, no. We ask for mercy because without it, we will not amount to anything. The Bible says, it said, but for God's mercy, we are not consumed. Hmm. It is not a place to tell God who you are hmm. or to tell him how much you have served him. No, it is a place where we ask for mercy. Mercy is the way to open up your Adulam experience. Mm. I am not qualified. Mercy. Mm. Mm. You are my last hope. Mercy. Mm. Everything around my life is not good. Mercy. If you don't show me mercy, I will not survive because it's my mm. only means of survival. Mercy. Sir, sir, I'm seeing things in the way I do not expect. I'm seeing mercy as something else. Yes, sir. Ah, sir, I'm blessed. You don't go to the cave of Adulam as MOG, man mm. of God. You don't go there as an apostle. You don't visit Adulam like a pastor. Mm. You don't visit the cave of Adulam as a prophet. You visit Adulam like an helpless saint mm. and lie down there and ask for mercy. And the next thing you do in Adulam is thanksgiving. That is the second protocol you engage in Hadulam. It's mm. thanksgiving. You take time to thank God meticulously. Yeah. And you don't go to Hadulam and say, I thank you for everything you have done in my life. That is a selfish way of giving thanks. You thank God one by one. Because when you are praying for God to do things for you, you didn't say, God, do all these things for me. You were exact. Mm. So as results begin to come, you thank God one after the other, counting your blessings one by one. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Indeed, it is true. The day God spared our life, the day we have nothing to eat, we go to sleep and we give thanks. In fact, they are endless. They are. Then you write all these things down one by one. Hmm. And the next thing you do in Hadulam is to go and make reports, not requests. You can see that the first three things I've said, there's no request there. Yes, sir. You make reports. You report to God everything happened in your life. You report everyone who has offended you, everyone who has made you sad, everyone who has threatened you, everyone who has posed himself as a threat and problems in your life. You go there and report to God. You report to him. Just go there and report. God, this is what is happening. This particular person, I don't know what is happening, but I feel this person is actually after my life. God, this person, for, for, for strange reasons, this person always hates me and just corner me anywhere. Lord, this person, this thing, just make report like you are reporting and writing a statement before a police officer. You report to God like that. Just keep on reporting, not requesting, reporting. Sir, I've been to several programs and conferences. And I have personally studied the word of God back to back as an assignment. But sir, I have not seen anyone who teaches the word this way. That's the spirit of revelation. And the next thing you do in Hadulam is praise and worship. That is, you stand up and you worship God in singing and dancing. You dance in his presence. You can dance your whole day in his presence. You wonder, what is there to praise God about? You keep on praising Him for the things He has done. And be very, very careful. Do not mix praises with worship. Do not mix praises with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is different from praising. When you give thanks, you are not necessarily singing. You are saying, I thank you God for this. I thank you God for that. The day I did this, the day I did that. But when you get to this fourth level, you sing and dance and sing praises in His presence. Even if it looks like there is nothing to praise God about, God will never owe any man, no matter how bad the situation is. There's something that God has done. You thank him for it. After you have done that, 
you now go to the next phase when you present your requests. You present your request to God just like David did in Psalm 142. So you wait there, you stand on your watch and set your face upon him and see what he will say. Then when you get there to the cave of Adullam, you begin to receive instructions. You receive instructions from God. Then men are drawn to you. Men are drawn to you to support what you represent. Mm. Let me tell you, it is stressful to begin to go to men to help you. It is stressful to begin to give men your ministry card to invite you to ministration yes, and sir. say, I'm an apostle. It mm. is stressful. The way to draw men is the way to the cave. If you want to receive the ministry of men to support what you represent, you go to Adulam. Mm. When you engage Adulam, men yes, are drawn sir. to you. There's something about the cave that draws men. There's something about the cave that activates ordination. The way to the stage is to the cave. If you want ordination to be activated, you won't do it by sitting in your comfort. Ordination will not be activated by staying in your living room completely all day. The only place where ordination is switched on is the cave. When you get to the cave, ordination is switched on. Priesthood is activated. Let me tell you, that stage you are running to is a waste of time. The way to the stage is the cave. Sir, where is the cave today? And yes. what qualifies it to be? Anywhere nobody can assess you easily yes. is the cave. Mm. Anywhere people cannot assess you, whether physically or through your electronic devices, mm. is the cave. Anywhere it can be a retreat center far, far, far deep, far from civilization, is the cave. Prayer Vigil is not a cave of Adulam. Family Altar is not the cave of Adulam. It is you and God far, far, far into the cave. Once you can be distracted, you are not there yet. Mm -hmm. You go out of the reach of people and you find yourself far into the cave. Not you and your wife, you alone. Nobody goes to the cave with somebody. You go there alone. It's you, God, in the cave. This is a whole lot. A whole lot, dear. There are many jobs out there that you can do. Instead of wondering about, it is high time you go out there and find a space for your destiny. And this cave of Adulam experience is not a one-off thing. Mm. It's not a place you go and when ordination is activated, you now come to the stage and rejoice on the stage that I have arrived. Mm. It will get to a point again when the ordination will go down. If you want to stay relevant in the sand of time, Adulam is a place you visit every time to update ordination, to activate priesthood again and again. Mm. That will keep you relevant in the sand of time. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. I am blessed for meeting and seeing you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. The next class we are going to be having, yes, sir. I will be teaching you on our Adulam, that lonely cave, that dark cave, that cave where you begin to have some scary sounds right in the bush. How that cave became a house of glory. Mm. And how to know that you have reached a threshold of an encounter per time. Mm. Mm. I will also teach you that. But that will be much later. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, who is it? Ah, mommy! You came to see me as promised. Oh, Charity. Yes, I did. I made a promise and here I am. If me being a human can make promise and fulfill it, I'm much more glad. So whatever God says he will do, he will definitely do it. Wow, that's a blessing already. Please come and see. Yeah, please thank you. Please don't mind my umbrella boots. Wow. Mm. You know, despite not the days of little beginning, Though that beginning was small, but the latter hand shall greatly increase. Amen. Charity, you see, anyone you have ever known or imagined to be living in a very big mansion presently has once lived in a small place like yours now. The important thing is, as much as you're living here, let your mindset be resting on the promises of God. Mm? Wow. The promises of God. Exactly. You see, your mind has the capacity to take you from where you are to where you're supposed to be. So it is risky for any man that the mindset is not rooted in Christ. 
let this mind be in me which was also in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, I receive the mind of Christ into my spirit. Amen. That is it. You see, Charity, whatever it is you might be going through today, it is only what God says about you that matters. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Mommy. Thank what of that is? He is doing very cool. So tell me, what were you doing before I came in so we could probably do them together? Mommy, what would you like to take? Mm -hmm. Anything to eat? What, we, what were you doing? Oh. Uh. MD? Yes? Is that man your pastor? Or does he have a church anyway? No, he doesn't. All I know is that he normally holds a program tagged Encounter Clinic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people get encountered with the word and the transformation of their minds. <sighs> I am thinking about something. Oh, what's that? Eh? I think we should sow a seed into the life of that man of God. That man is a man of God. And it will be so irresponsible of us to go to such a man and get so much blessings. And at the end of the day, We'll just say, uh, thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. sir. It will be so irresponsible of us. Mm, indeed. The spirit is one. I have just been thinking of what to give to him. Mm. He has really watered us. See, Kai. I mean, whatsoever we have, we we'll gather and sow as a seed into his life. You know, seeds are very powerful. Indeed. It's a great way to receive it from God. So I will take something to him tomorrow. Very necessary. Mm. That man has revelations. A full head one. Mm. Mm. Oh, boy, are you done with your assignment? Yeah, boy. Let's see what you do. Okay. Afternoon, sir. Yeah. How's everything, sir? Fine, fine. Can I have your seat? Let me invite him. Thank you, sir. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you for everything, sir. Good bless God. Thank you very much. Without wasting time, my brother. How then do Adulam become a place of glory? You see, the glory on the stage or the one gotten at the university bag gate is not glory. That one is a temporal glory. Mm -hmm. The real glory falls on men that stays at the cave. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's check in Micah chapter 1 verse 15. Mm -hmm. So open your Bible while I read it from here. Micah chapter 1 verse 15. Are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So here it says, I will yet bring an heir to you, O inhabitant of Marisha. The glory of Israel shall come to Adulam. Ah, the glory of Israel shall come to Adulam. In other words, the glory of Zion shall come to Adulam. It means that we are not expected to be going elter skater looking for glory. Mm. If we can stay at the cave of Adulam, there is something about that experience that magnetizes glory. Mm. And the real glory that dwells in Zion and Jerusalem and Israel will come over to those that stay in the cave. And it rests upon them like a dove. But tell me, how do a place filled with 400 men in depth discontented people, depressed people, di di no, distressed people, how do that place now become a house of glory? It is in Hadulam that our kingship is bred upon. It is in Hadulam that everything that we have by creation is activated at the cave of Hadulam. Hmm. When God sent men to David, why the indebted men why the distress and why the discontented people? How will somebody who went to hide help for all the distressed men? Even David in itself was threatened and he went to hide. The outcome somebody has gone to hide to secure himself 
is now bent to now lead and make 400 men who are indebted. It means no matter the situation we find ourselves, it is still better than that of others. Hmm. God sent them there to teach David leadership. God sent those distressed people to that place to, to, to teach David the concept of leadership. Because if David could make those men exceeding great army, then to lead the nation would not be difficult. He can take over the nation. Man of God, don't ask for God to give you the nations if your immediate family has not been turned into an exceeding great army. Man of God, do not begin to ask for visibility even when your team members, the members of your ministry, the members of your church, the members of your ministration or whatever it is, they have not been turned to a city great army. You have not impacted them with the power of priesthood and ordination and you are crying for visibility. You are joking. You see, when we help others to recover, then God in heaven will now bring us to our own recovery. Indeed, I know my pathway to prophecy. I know my pathway to manifestation. It is the way of the cave. Even our own Jesus Christ in the book of Mark 1, 35. In Mark 1, 35, Jesus Christ went to his own cave of Adulam. He said, early in the morning, he went to a silent, solitary place and he was praying. While he was yet praying, the disciples came to him and they said, all men seek for thee. He didn't call for men, but while he was in his own Adulam, mm -hmm. the grace and the protocol of Adulam begins to compel men to seek for him. If you have not gone to the cave of Adulam to understand what happens there, don't ask for men. The ministry of men will only attract to you when you are in the cave of Adulam. Ah, the proof that you have not engaged Adulam it's when you begin to look for men, when you begin to lobby to be seen, when you begin to beg for ministrations, when you begin to beg people to put you on the stage or on platform, it's a sign that you have not engaged Adulam. Man of God, go to Adulam. Adulam is calling me, sir. I can't wait to visit my own cave and wait till the prophecy of my life to be activated. When you begin to look like the opposite of what God said, Adulam is calling you. When you begin to roam about with every anointing, when you begin to roam about with every prophecy, when you begin to roam about with every gifting on your head, with that manifestation, Adulam is calling you. When it looks like your life has no meaning, when it's like you look confused, there's confusion all around you, Adulam is calling you. When you are threatened and afraid, when you have this fear of the unknown, when you just see yourself, Getting scared of what you cannot figure out, my brother. Rush to Adulam. There are times you need to stop everything you are doing for a while. There are times you need to hang your boat and go to Adulam. It is a place where men go when they have come to the end of themselves. It is one of the departments in the University of Tears. So, if anyone is passing through the University of Tears, uh, there's no way you will not visit the cave of Adula. I cannot do it by myself Except to take over I cannot follow on my own Except to take over I cannot do it by myself Except to take over I cannot follow by myself Except to take over Take over Take over I have come to the end of myself Take over Take over I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Sir, I honor 
and celebrate grace upon your life. It will be irresponsible of me to come and receive this deep teaching and say thanks. No, no. I choose to be responsible, sir. Even in the Old Testament, when men went to seek the prophet, they go with gifts. Here is my gift, sir. Here is my seed, sir. I want you to have some seeds. Oh. Here is your seed. Thank you, sir. I appreciate this, your real understanding. Thank you, sir. You see, this is done out of a revelation. Many people believe that honoring men of God with their seed is a waste of time. But when it is done with understanding, there are result that it commands. And so I am going to pray for you. That this seed that you have given shall usher the presence of God to your situation in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. No revelation, no result. So with this understanding, tie me to this seed. I release on your life the grace of revelation Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. The Lord will bless you. Amen. The Lord will lift you. Amen. The Lord will honor you. Amen. Thank you very much. Oh, honey. Yes. Hope this is all you need. Yes, yes, that's all. Okay. Oh, darling. When will you be coming back? When I receive my words and signs. Oh, words and signs. Oh, where will you be? I will be in the city. I know the Lord will lead me on where to go. Dad, are you traveling? No, I want to ascend to meet with God. God? Will you see him? Of course. I will meet with him. I will discuss with him. And he will give me instruction. Please, when you ascend, tell him that a small boy is here. Love him and also to meet him one day. All right. I will deliver your message, my boy. Okay. My dear, okay. I need to go. Yes. Be go good. Go. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Emmanuel, all the answers call in your name. Emmanuel. You come again, Emmanuel. Have a touch to see your holy face, Emmanuel. following this series from the first part, then you should have a testimony because we have received a new set of testimonies. Maybe after the general movie, then we are going to collate this testimony together and bring it online for you to see. Adulam is calling great men. Adulam 
is calling men of God. And so I want to pray. Because one of the graces you are going to need to survive in Adulam is the grace of prayer and intercession. And so I impact that grace for those who have weak prayer life, those who prayer life are staggering. I release that grace that as you finish this movement and you can say amen that your prayer altar shall be rekindled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And permit me to prophesy by this time tomorrow. That news you are expecting. I don't know what you have submitted. I don't know. As long as it is not something that takes a normal process according to the time of life. If it's something that you want the prophetic to do, because I can tell you, I don't come in here to stand and just speak to you. I'm not here to, to waste your time or to insert your pedigree. We have people everywhere around the world. Pastors are watching. Men of God are watching. Captain of industry are watching. And I don't mean to insert your pedigree except that this thing works. And so I decree and I declare that whatever it is you have been waiting for God to do by this time tomorrow, as you say Amen, carry the manifestation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is done. The grand finale of this series, part four, will be shown again next Sunday. Don't miss out. Invite other people to watch so that they can be blessed too. God bless you. See you next Sunday. Ebi ya 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 ya